Hello singing friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm gonna to be doing a patron reaction request from Michael Gehrman, and he asked that I look at the band Second Grave and their song Soul Extinction. Second Grave from their website got their name from a, a quote attributed to Confucius, before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. Conceived in 2012, Second Grave adeptly combines elements of doom, heavy rock, and metal with an emphasis on riff, worship, heaviness, and melody. Their sound harkens back to a time when red hot tubes pushed to their limit deliver massive tone through huge cabinets while delivering epic tales of ancient battles, horror, human nature, and the mysteries of the arcane. All right, and the members are, or were, because I guess they're disbanded now, Krista Van Gilder on vocals and guitar, Maureen Murphy on bass, Chuck Ferreira on drums, and Chris Durzel on guitar. It looks like they released a few EPs and an album, and then they broke up on in 2016. All right, so that's all I know about them so far, but I'm excited to check them out. Michael writes, this is super talented Krista Van Gilder from Massachusetts singing and also playing on lead guitar, a great range on her voice and a great doom metal lead guitarist. Sounds exciting, so let's check it out. Um, again, this song is called Soul Extinction, as always. I will be stopping it at least once so that I don't get blocked or flagged. And I'm going to put the link to the uninterrupted video in the description box below, as well as the links to my online self-paced courses and how you can get in touch with me for a lesson, and also the two ways that you can get me to react to a song or artist of your choosing. All right, so that is all the housekeeping I have. Let's jump right in and check out Second Grave. I'm excited. Yeah, this definitely is heavy, it really, really heavy. You can hear just how hard the drums are being hit and the guitars sound really like thick, you know? Um, and also the way that it's recorded is kind of like muddy, which adds to that heaviness. I think she has a really, really cool voice. She definitely has like a really, really low placement. She's got a low voice and a low range and she's singing low notes, but she's also using like a low placement of her resonance. So it sounds really low, you know? <laughs> I think I've demonstrated in other videos, but you can sing the same note and place your resonance higher and it just sounds higher than the pitch that it is, you know? So if I'm singing down here, uh, if I place my resonance high, uh, it sounds a little bit lighter. Uh, if I place my resonance really low, it'll sound lower even though it's the same pitch, you know? It just adds like all of this body to the note and richness and resonance. So she's singing like 
with a really low placement as well and it just gives it more heaviness and darkness. I really like the chord changes. It definitely has like that spooky kind of vibe to it and very hooky when she got into the chorus as well. So I'm really liking it so far. Really interesting sound. some vocal fry into that first line the I think da, 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 da. I don't know exactly what the words are and then she goes pretty low da, 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 da. I don't know exactly how low she goes it's it's pretty low and then she has a really really nice vibrato and she's also kind of mumbling her words so just like the recording style is a little bit muddy which adds to the heaviness you know if it was like really if it had a lot of clarity it would sound more pop whereas like this sounds like really like raunchy and like dark and dirty because there's that muddiness she's also not over enunciating her words she's kind of like singing it in this cool kind of um mumbly sort of way you know so that it kind of adds to that heaviness too she pulses on that da! right she kind of like gives it a little like she's revving her engine there it's not quite vibrato you know it's like this conscious um this like pulsing on the note that's really cool and i think this this section is really catchy the da 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 that's a very catchy melodic hook i really like it I like the um, how it slowed down at the end. You had that retardando that almost adds to the heaviness of it as well because when you slow something down, it gets like lower generally. So like my brain associates it with like getting heavier. I also really like how the melody and the chord changes keep stepping down to the seventh, you know? Like it'll be like, da 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 
you know, that gives it that like kind of spooky feel. I liked the guitar solo that was like, you know, the way that they mixed it, that was more out in front, but it still was in that lower register. Overall, I really like it. It's really heavy. My two minor critiques are, I would have loved if this had like a live video to it, you know, or something, um, because it just makes the experience so much more entertaining, you know, rather than just listening. I'm so like spoiled. I'm so used to seeing like visuals accompanied with, um, with audio now that it's like hard for me just to like have an audio and a still image. And the other thing is everything kind of like occupied the same frequencies because it was so heavy, you know, and I think that this works for like one song, but I think my ears would get tired if I listened to like a whole album that was like in this like really dark kind of muddy sonic palette. Like I almost wanted something occupying the higher frequencies, you know, just to like cut through in a way, you know, and like give my ears a break from that like heavy kind of sludginess. But it's really cool, you know, I really, really liked it. So I just want to read you guys the lyrics to this because Michael was kind enough to type out all of the lyrics. Standing on a crumbling wall, I feel myself slipping. Wish I could still stand tall, but I sink to the bottom. I'm standing on a mountain, feel myself slipping. Standing on a mountain, let myself go. I know it's my soul's extinction. I know it's not much longer. I fear I'm going through a shell. I feel I am. I fear I'm going through a shell. I feel I am. Not much of me is left as I sink to the bottom. I'm standing on a mountain, feel myself slipping. Standing on a mountain, let myself go. I know it's my soul's extinction and I know it's not much longer. So wow, really like heavy <laughs> topic as well. Not just heavy music, but like very depressing and dark. So definitely matches lyrically the sound of the song. So yeah, I, I liked it. Um, it was an interesting first introduction to this band. I'm curious to hear more from them, but I definitely was impressed. I think she's got a really cool voice and delivery and I really like how just like everything is heavy you know and just like the way that she places her resonance is so heavy and deep as well so I thought it was really cool thank you for the request Michael I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I'll see you guys here next time until then take care and of course happy singing bye